My name is Mark Ternopolsky. I'm the director of the Neuromuscular and Neurometabolic Clinic at McMaster University. Uh, we see uh, about 2,000 patients a year who have uh, either muscle, nerve, or uh, neurometabolic disorders. And we um, do everything from diagnosis uh, to treatment and uh, genetic testing. Hello, Aaron. My name is Mark Turnopolsky. I'm a neuromuscular specialist, and um, you were referred to me from your doctor uh, because you've been having some weakness, is that correct? Yes, that's right. And how long has this weakness been going on? About a year and a half, two years. Mm -hmm. And how do you notice it? What sort of things are you having difficulty with? It really started with me having a hard time getting up when I was on the ground playing with my kids. Mm -hmm. um, and now I find it a bit more difficult to get up from a chair mm -hmm. or climb stairs. The stairs too, so it looks like your legs are, have been affected. Um, what about uh, the upper extremities? Any difficulties working around the house with your arms? I don't notice so much. Sometimes when I'm trying to lift something up on a shelf, I have a hard time. Mm -hmm. um, but I notice it more in my legs than in my arms. Right. Now, uh, in terms of uh, what we call the proximal and distal muscles, um, uh, with your hands, that's a distal muscle. Any uh, weakness at all, gripping things? Never. Nothing like that? No, my hands are really nice and strong. And, and they don't lock up on you? They don't get st uh, stuck in anything like that? No, they've never no. done that. Okay, and in your legs, um, talking about your feet, which is the distal muscle, uh, any issues at all with it slapping on the ground or stumbling on the toe? No, I've never noticed that before. Yeah. So it's really just getting up uh, from the ground, uh, climbing stairs. Yes. And when you go up and down the stairs, are you now finding that you have to use the railing? I can't really get up the stairs if I don't use the railing. you got to uh, both up and down, you have to pull yourself up. Yeah, going up is harder. Going mm -hmm. down, I can, I can do it without the railing, but going up, I can't really do it without the railing. Mm -hmm. And if you're, for example, doing laundry or carrying a basket, there's no way you could carry the basket up or down stairs? No, be... I have to get my husband to do that now. Okay. Um, now with uh, these activities, do your muscles cramp while you're doing the activity? or? No, they've never cramped before. Is there any pain at all associated with this? No pain. So even at rest or with exercise, uh, there's really no pain with this? No. Okay. Um, when you were younger, for example, as a teenager, uh, could you do sports or any activities like that? Yeah, I could. Yeah. Did you play in any teams? I played soccer. Right. And back then you had no problems with dark urine, muscle cramps, no, anything like that? No, never. No. So this weakness really has just uh, been more apparent to you for the last two years or so? Yes, that's right. What about others? Has your husband or anyone else noticed this? or? Asked um, you to see a doctor? People sometimes notice that I walk a little bit funny, um, but it's normally my family and my friends that notice it. Sometimes other people don't really notice it. Right, so it's becoming a little bit more apparent to people that you've had this uh, problem with your walking. Yeah, that's right. Right, okay, good. And um, what about uh, things, uh, for example, like swallowing? Are you having any issues at all with that? No problem swallowing. None whatsoever? No. And your chewing is not getting fatigued? No. No, and your jaw is not tiring or anything? No, never. Your voice hasn't changed? No, it hasn't changed. Right. No problems with double vision? No, I've never had double vision. Yeah, and your eyes don't get droopy at the end of the day? No. No hearing loss? No. Uh, nope. Okay. What about uh, your heart? Any palpitations or chest pains? No. Right, but uh, when you say that you're, you're weak, um, is that weakness there first thing in the morning, at the end of the day? The weakness is there all the time, but I sometimes get really tired throughout the day mm -hmm. um, to where at the end of the night I'm really, really bagged. Right. And uh, do you feel short of breath as well with, uh, with all of this? Yes. Mm -hmm. And along the lines with that, um, do you wake up in the morning um, uh, with a headache or any issues like that? Um, I usually wake up feeling kind of cloudy with a headache. Um, my husband says it takes me a really long time to get out of bed in the morning mm -hmm. and that I sometimes don't make sense. Oh, really? And uh, what about at night? Do you feel short of breath when you're lying down? Like, uh, does that affect you at all? I can't lie down at all. How do you go to sleep then? Um, well, I find I have to sleep propped up on a few pillows or on my side. Mm -hmm. But if I lie down flat, I get really panicky. Really? Um, and I have a hard time breathing. Okay. And uh, what about your bowels and bladder? Any issues at all with that? No, I've never had any problems that way. Right. You've had no numbness or tingling in your feet? No, never. Okay.
So uh, thinking about your past medical history, have you had any surgeries, any anesthetic reactions, anything that you can think of? No, never. Right. You never been put on medications for any high blood pressure, high cholesterol? No. Right. What medications are you on right now? I currently take vitamin D and mm -hmm. a multivitamin. And you've never been prescribed medications for cholesterol, for example, like a statin. I don't know if you've heard that term. No, I don't know what that is. Nothing like that. Okay. No, never. Good. And no other supplements or anything else that you've taken over the counter or anything other no. than the multivitamin? No. Okay. And um, your allergies, um, any issues at all with allergies to medications? No, I've never had any allergies. Nothing there. Yeah. Right. And you don't smoke or drink? No, never. Right. And what's your job? I work as a teacher. Now, do you think that this uh, weakness is impairing your ability to function as a teacher? Well, I find it hard to keep up with the kids now. Mm -hmm. um, and if it's an emergency, I find it hard to get out of my desk mm -hmm. um, really quickly. Um, but the kids haven't really noticed it too much yet. So it really hasn't impacted your job at this point? Uh, no, not too much. Right, so you're not worried about losing your job or um, having to get accommodations at this point? No. Okay. And uh, what about the family history? Um, do you have any children? Yes, I have two. Mm -hmm. Boy or girl? I have an older boy and a younger girl. And they're healthy? Healthy and active, yeah. Right. And what about brothers and sisters? I have an older sister. Mm -hmm. She's healthy? She's healthy. Does she have any kids? She does. Right. Any issues at all with her kids? No, they have no issues. Right. And uh, your mom and dad, are they healthy? They are. Right. And they're not taking medications like for diabetes or cholesterol or anything? No, else? they're not on any medications. Right. Nobody in your extended family has had any problems with pacemakers, um, uh, enlargement of the heart, muscle weakness? No, not that I know of. I've never heard that before. Right. And it uh, sounds like a strange question, but your parents are not related by blood, are they? No. Okay. Good. Um, so are there any questions that uh, I haven't brought up that you think are important? Um, am I going to get worse? Well, well, first we have to do an examination um, and uh, we, you know, we'll take a look at some of the blood work. So your family doctor had sent over some blood work that they had done. Um, things look you know, generally normal. Uh, there is a muscle enzyme uh, called a CK, which is up a little bit. The normal should be 200, yours is about 640, so it's not crazy elevated, um, but it could mean that there's something going on with the muscles. Um, our examination and some tests will help us to figure out what that is. Now that CK number, muscle enzymes, have you ever had that done that you recall in the past or has anyone ever said that it's been up? No, this is the first time I've ever had it tested, mm -hmm. but my family doctor did call me at home to let me know that the results were a bit abnormal, but I didn't really know what it meant. Yeah, I mean, the CK can be up for a variety of reasons. Um, sometimes if we exercise too aggressively, it can stay up uh, sometimes as long as a week afterwards. Did you do any abnormal workouts, uh, uh, do anything different um, for a few days before this measurement? I walk, but I have a really hard time exercising because I get really short of breath very fast right. and my muscles feel really weak. Okay, so it's probably not exercise and uh, we'll uh, do, do our examination and then we'll order some other tests to try and sort this out for you as quick as possible. Okay. okay? Thanks.